Hi guys, welcome back. Search Sketch Project, episode 10. First things first, I want to greet everybody a happy new year. I hope you had a good time celebrating the end of 2020 as we move forward to the year 2021. For the first video of the year, we're continuing on with the main story. So without further ado, let's begin. So to start things off, we're going to approach this panel with a different perspective. Just to mix things up a little bit. As you can see, we already started to draw some of the background. I also did uh, sketched everything in this panel before we started the video. So uh, also on this panel, we're focusing more on the background this time, not mainly on the characters, because that's one of the aspects of making comics. You got to show your audience what kind of world uh, your characters are living in. So my idea was to try to imagine a world that has a highly advanced tech but at the same time, they're still connected with their ancient ways. As I've mentioned before, this world I created is filled with mystical creatures and monsters. That's basically the premise and concept in a nutshell of this world I created. Uh, basically, it's ancient magical mystics versus modern, highly advanced tech. Uh, so going back to the backgrounds for this panel, it's so mainly my approach to creating the setting uh, and this, in particular, is purely based on most of my travels because I see a lot of buildings, structures, landmarks, and statues. So uh, for an artist like me, my imagination goes wild every time I sit down and start to draw and try to implement everything I saw, uh, everything out there in the real world into this comic I'm trying to illustrate. Okay, now, as you can see, we're working on a uh, silhouette. Uh, this is a new character that I'll be introducing on the later episodes. But for now, we're just going to focus on the background. Uh, he's not mainly uh, one of the bad guys, but he will play a major role in the story that we're trying to tell. He's also one of the main antagonists in the story. And, uh, well, just to give you guys a quick teaser of what he can do, uh, that is summoning magic right there basically he's a summoner what he can do is that he can call upon uh, powerful summon creatures using his summon magic to fight for him when they're in a battle all right so going back to this panel the setting for this story or scene uh, it's like they're in a village maybe you can compare it to a small town uh, I call this place Etivacnalis uh, I'll spell that for you guys, uh, E-T-I-V-A-C-G-N-A-L-I-S. Uh, it's an ancient town of mystics, uh, but slowly it's being swallowed by uh, modern tech. Uh, okay, so let's elaborate more on that side of the story. So, uh, basically this town is a great area of this world, meaning uh, magic and technology coexist with one another. Uh, so now, uh, you may be wondering, where are all the locals? Nobody lives in this part of the village. Uh, it's been abandoned uh, because uh, there have been known that there is an Encanto that lives here, uh, also known as sprites. They're playful spirits that toy with uh, humans, and they're also uh, masters of evolution and enchanting magic. Uh, no one would dare enter uh, village until the four uh, mystic slayers were sent here to uh, hunt down uh, the hero of the story. They were sent here to go on a mission to bring back uh, the former leader that, and it's the one they're trying to capture. Uh, he basically he lost all his memories uh, after the great war, uh, the great mystic war. Uh, again that's for another episode. Uh, I can give you a little spoiler, uh, it does involve humans, uh, and they're trying to manipulate all mystic factions to destroy each other. Also in the middle of all that, there's a traitor uh, in each faction, uh, they betray their own time for their own gains. Uh, this story goes deep, so just like I said in that compilation video, uh, I have a lot of future plans for this. Uh, 
So looking back, uh, when I first started this comic, I only picked a random page to work on uh, and started all the story. But truth be told, this is not the uh, beginning of the comic. There's a lot more you didn't see. So not to worry though, um, uh, we won't get to all that in due time in the later episodes. I didn't plan this out. Uh, it kind of turned out and it this way and it ended up right in the middle of the comic. But in a way, uh, that's the kind of uh, way I want to tell the story. Uh, it's almost kind of like uh, telling an epic saga for a comic. Uh, I would illustrate the future or the current uh, situation um, that they're in right now. Um, and then later on, backtrack and show you how everything had led to this point in time in the story. It's, uh, I like that type of storytelling. So another thing I forgot to mention, um, I might have not mentioned it the last time because uh, while I was working on some of the details of this drawing, this panel uh, off camera, uh, I put in some of the text for the word bubble, uh, and, he, and he's saying, uh, I'm talking about the golem guy, uh, he's saying he's switching to um, armor piercing rounds because the stun bullets are not working because of that aura that is enveloped around that guy they're trying to catch. Uh, so that's what's going on right now as far as uh, uh, what is he trying to shoot him with as you can see there's a lot of smoke coming out of that gun because well shoot a gun it's gonna smoke so unless it really helps out if you stylize the smoke it, that's just my little twist to it I mean I, the more the cooler the smoke looks, the, the better the action looks. Uh, I think I've mentioned that in the last couple of episodes as well. And uh, there you go. Those are the armor piercing rounds that are being shot right now. Trying to work on the details. There you go. They look all pointy. Um, then I'll work some more of his uh, torso, his, his body, his arms, shoulders, put more details in there. So you can see right there, um, I can focus on his main body, and I'm not sure if you guys know this, but he's, this golem dude's got four eyes, not to be confused with prescription glasses, no, uh, that, I guess I can tell you the story about those four eyes now, so, normally golems in this world I created would not have any eyeballs. So these are given to him in that experiment I was told you um, that uh, uh, when he was captured and he was experimented on by humans, those are cybernetic eyeballs by the way, so they're not real eyeballs. So now I'm adding more smoke uh, fog in the background uh, behind the golem. That's just to separate, uh, create that illusion of him separating from the background um now i'm creating the fog that's actually that's the aura of that guy that they're trying to catch yeah they keep trying to catch him but they fail every time so uh we kind of ended up in this situation right here all right so to explain this scene in a, in a better much better way uh this guy he moved so fast that they didn't they didn't even see him jump behind the golem uh, that is still kind of oblivious and he's still shooting in the wrong direction at this point he's about ready to do another counterattack. Uh, as you can see uh, he's raising his other leg uh, and he's about to do another drop kick I can't tell you guys who is going to get um, who's going to get the beat down uh, for that drop kick because that's going to be a spoiler and we'll have to save that for the next episode. But I can tell you that someone is going to get really hurt really bad in the next panel. Again, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, no one's going to die. Uh, not yet anyway. Uh, not a big fan of killing my own characters. Uh, 
uh, so we're not going. We're going to stay away from that idea. Um, getting hurt real bad, or getting knocked out, or passing out, I can deal with that. Uh, and it's not just. Uh, but if you're just like an extra character or a side character, maybe a pawn or some monster, well, I guess we can kill those off. So uh, focusing on this guy they're trying to capture. Uh, he's the main hero of the story. Uh, his name is, by the way, his name is Ezekiel. Or you can call him Izzy. Uh, just to tell you a little bit of his origins. Uh, but before anything, uh, no, we're not going to devil into that on the next episode. Because uh, we're going to continue on with the main story. Uh, also... Uh, I don't think I've mentioned him before, but his, his also, he's got his own race. Uh, he's a part of the uh, Aswang tribe. Again, that's another Filipino mythology. You can look it up. Uh, it's all over the internet. So, uh, they're one of the uh, uh, one of the most feared ancient uh, mystic races in the world I created. Uh, they existed long before the first humans came into existence. And the oldest one in their tribe, or the elders, as one would call it, they still practice the old ways. Um, can't tell you right now what those old ways are, uh, but I will tell you more about it later on. Also, uh, if you really do want to look up the lore on the Asimov, uh, uh, gotta warn you, it's a little messy and gory, too. Same thing. With the modern on dolls. Uh, they are kind of creatures of the night and monsters. So, uh, but I do like the concept. Uh, so, at this point, panel, uh, if you guys remember the guy with two sites, so here he is, and what he's doing right now is he's looking up, uh, but he kind of looked a little bit later because he noticed that there was something, or he felt that something jumped behind him. Uh, but he had a late reaction, and he was too slow, and that is why somebody's gonna get hurt real bad on the next panel that we're gonna show in the next episode. Yes, yeah, so I just wanna say uh, I really enjoy uh, working uh, with this comic uh, and showing you guys the story, the story I'm trying to tell. Uh, really having a blast. It is my favorite hobby after all, and I will continue to do this uh, search sketch project. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this panel for now. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, appreciate all the support. And then I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.